Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and welcome to new series. Let me introduce myself. I'm your host and instructor for this particular topic and my name is Kumar and 17 years experience into IT training and consulting. My email address is trainer at the rate logic it dot in. You can subscribe my YouTube channel logic it dot in to get latest certification details on Microsoft Windows servers, Azure, Office 365 and security and latest trending videos and recordings as well. So in this topic, I am going to explain you how we built site to site VPN from on premises to Azure. So technically it's a very big topic and I'll not uh, make this recording too big. So in this left side of environment is your on-premises environment. We are where hundreds of servers are running in on-premises and right hand side we have Azure environment and how to establish a site to site connectivity between on-premises to Azure with the help of Windows Server 2022 routing and remote access server. In this, in left hand side, I built this environment into Hyper-V from my laptop. You can use VMware Workstation as well, where I use one internal switch. One is external switch. Internal switch, I use a IP address 192.168.0.10 and 192.168.0.10 as a DNS. That is my AD and DNS on premises AD. Second machine I used 192.168.0. It is my mistake. This is 0 0.11 and join with the domain. In this case, definitely we use same DNS pointing towards on premises DNS. Second, what I did, I put it an external switch and getting a DSAP IP to get an internet from my ISP, ISP broadband. That's, I'll treat like an external switch, which I will show you how to do that. And these all two machines are Windows Server 2022 as a latest operating system for a server. On the right hand side, I built my one VNet and which is in East US VNet range I have given 100016 subnet 1 web 10.0.0.0/24 one VM I deployed in subnet 1 automatically get a private IP 10.0.0.4 we need to establish a connectivity from my AD and routing all the machines of my on-premises towards your Azure with the private IP address range or with the private IP. So on this right hand side, the very important component play is Azure Virtual Network Gateway. Let me explain you what do you mean by gateway and how it works. So Azure Virtual Network Gateway is a router in Azure. So any routing traffic from my on-premises to Azure related to site to site, VNet to VNet and point to site, we use Virtual Network Gateway as a component. It has two interfaces. One is a public interface. One is a private interface. Public interface, Microsoft release a public IP. On a private interface, you need to define a very special subnet, gateway subnet, which is my internal interface of my router. So admin need to define this subnet. So all traffic from outside world reach to this public IP, then with the routing internally, and reach to this internal subnet of router, which is my gateway subnet. Gateway subnet is mandatory to build this virtual network gateway, and then further routing traffic will go to the target machines. So you mean to say the production subnets, how many subnets, one, two, three, and one dedicated subnet for this internal routing 
from this outside world interface routing traffic will reach to internal subnet which is my regular subnet and then traffic will reach to the target subnets and all the subnets is a part of same vnet so gateway or virtual network gateway always attached to the vnet so while defining azure virtual network gateway we need to define sq size gateway type 1 650 gateway type 1 gig gateway type 3 1.25 gateway type 4 5 and gateway type 5 10 gig connectivity there's a special gateway we have called az series az series will give you full sla means service level agreement and maximum deployment time or average deployment time for this gateway is 20 to 25 minutes so if i come back to my diagram So this is my environment. Let me show you my Hyper-V environment. So I already built my one VM with Active Directory server. If you see my recording, how to build Active Directory server, so you get to know 10.0.0.10 and 10.0. 192.168.0.10 why I put 0.11 as a gateway let me explain you on this AD machine so from this if I need to talk to the Azure as a routing traffic will go to my this interface this interface means 0.11 and this knows how the route will go and then static route to this in production environment we never use routing and remote access server we use something called cisco juniper baraguda hardware routing devices but this is for a demo poc environment and and learning understanding perspective so i'm using windows server 2022 routing and remote access server so I want my AD route target to this should go to my routing machine which is my 0 0.11 and then he knows how to route as a routing and remote access and go to the internet. That's the reason I put it my on AD machine 0 0.11 as a gateway. Come back to my second machine on a routing machine. This is a domain join machine. And one is a domain join machine. It's a normal 0 0.11, 0 0.10 is a DNS, no gateway. And second one is external. DSCP IP is releasing IP, which is your Wi-Fi router DSCP IP. And both the machines I built it in Hyper-V environment. If I go to my virtual switch manager, one is my private switch, one is my internet switch, external switch. So private switch is connected. So private switch is linked with my AD. So there is a no external switch. On the routing machine, I have two NICs. One is a private, which is 192.168.0. range IP and DSCP IP for my internet external switch. So this is the way how I built two switches for the routing. So routing and service, I have not installed. I will show you live in front of you in the recording how to configure routing and remote access server. Come to this Azure. So for this Azure environment, let me show you what steps I did. Normally I'll use this resource group. I'll not going to wait for 25 minutes to create a router. So, but what step I did, let me show you quickly. 
so demo resource group and I created my virtual network Vnet demo. So ten two I am using. So this is for just for a demo purpose, but practically I used ten zero zero zero. So just created a network ten zero zero and subnet one. Subnet one web ten zero and built your network. So once your VNet is ready, I will define a gateway subnet, which I explain you and built my gateway. So we'll not wait for 20 minutes and then I'll jump into my one predefined uh, gateway, which I already created. So go to this VNet demo, go to the subnets, one subnet, define a gateway subnet slash 24 only I'm using that's called your gateway subnet and then create one virtual network gateway normally I'll show all the recordings all the steps live in the session but this will be a 25 minutes deployment so East US gateway Zero to demo VPN route based and the speed which we discussed VPN gateway one is 650 Mbps speed is fine pitch network we net demo gateway subnet automatically picked give a name public IP gateway public IP and availability zone zone one and review and create so once it's done, create, which I'm not going to do it. As I told you, I already created this thing. Let me show you my production resource group, RJ01 Kumar. So my VNet is there, subnets. So my range is 10, 0, 0, 0, 16. subnet 1. 10 0 0 0 is equal 10 0 1 0 two subnets one is a gateway subnet one is bastion also I have which you can ignore right now and you see 250 so it means one of the VM is there in the subnet one IP address is 10 0 0 4 which is my Azure VM so on the right hand side is my 10 0 0 4 production VM and this one I already explained you. This is my 192.168.0.11. So this is fine. Once this is done, so how I get to know my router is ready or gateway is ready. So the gateway, when you go to the gateway, Microsoft release a public IP on the gateway. In my case, my IP is 20, 120, 37, 130, which is I already mentioned in my diagram. So this is fine. Let's configure it, the connectivity. To do site to site, you need to create a very special component here called local network gateway. And then we need to attach this local network gateway 
to the side to side VPN into the Azure. So when I defined local network gateway, so local network gateway it's used for software hardware VPN for side to side connectivity. So this is the connectivity between Bangalore, India to Azure. So Bangalore, India to Azure. Public IP address of the Bangalore. So what I am going to do in production, network knock team will give you a static IP. Right now I'm doing what is my IP based on my ISP. So this is my target from Bangalore, my local ISP public IP. One twenty two one six seven one twenty two one six seven. 114.249 which range I'm using in Bangalore I already mentioned 192.168.0. range I'm using 0, .0. 0.0 entire range as a target Once this is done, I go to my gateway and say connection. There's a no connection right now. Add site to site between Bangalore, India to East US. IPsec, site to site, gateway. Choose network. That's now I created Bangalore, India to Azure and some secret key this is 123 at azure right now ikev2 cloud-based protocol bgp route i am not enabling for the cisco based protocol so this is done from the azure end and it will show you not connected meanwhile i'll try to connect my azure vm which is a part of same RJ01 seem with passion host to showcase one thing that right now there is a no connectivity because we have not done we are not we have not configured from on premises end as of now No problem, my passion is not working. So let me connect from the public IP for the time being. So now this is Azure VM. To avoid any confusion, I'll put it private IP range
so right now if I show you there is no connectivity to towards my on-prem 10 is my domain controller and 11 is my routing and if I show you my host name this is web01 in Azure and IP config is 10.0.0.4 which is in Azure so you see Azure environment so let's go to my routing machine which is already AD and domain joint As I already show you that AD is there and DSCP IP for my external. So here I'm doing add roles on my routing machine. Routing. Next, next, next. Remote access. We need routing and VPN. So now once it's done, tools, routing and remote access. Right click configure, custom, you need VPN and LAN routing. And done. So here I am doing network interface, right click new demand tile, static route from on premises to Azure East US data center, VPN, IKV2 protocol, target. This is very important. So this target is my gateway and my gateway public IP 20.120.37.130 add a static route so so from on-premises to Azure, Azure is 10.0.0.0. And it means 10.0.0.0/16 means 255.255.0.0 based on my target VNet range. So any traffic coming from on-premises to this destination, this is my static route. And this will help us to go next. Username, password is not required, but still you put it your administrator. That's not a problem. DRE. The main thing is required is go to the properties of this demand tile security pre shared hash key, which we already done one to three at the rate Azure hash value and try to connect. So now it is connected. So technically, I can do RDP to my Azure VM. Here we go. And Azure VM username and password, which is my Kumar. And don't confuse, it is Web01, same target machine. And I can do the RDP. 
you see from my routing and remote access the same vm from azure can i do my rdp to my routing machine if i rdp is enabled yes here we go and can i do rdp to my domain controller here we go um, let me check my AD machine in AD machine I already mentioned 0 0.10 route will go to the 0 0.11 as a gateway so technically it should be fine and I can do RDP into the Azure yes and from my Azure also I can do domain control RDP also you see so both the way connectivity is established so very important point only for domain controller machine is this should use gateway as a routing machine so any traffic if I need to go to the Azure route will go to the routing machine as a gateway and further gateway will knows how to reach to the Azure so I'm sure this recording is very informative for you and and last one thing I'll show you the packets connections so packet is also refresh so and this packet very soon it will show you connected and even I can see here bytes send and receive also Thank you very much for joining this session.